This is probably the most important tool you'll ever need as an IRA live streamer. It's called IRA Link and it can do all of this. Show your status and number of viewers, change the chat mode, update your stream title, show a preview of your live stream, merge chat from Twitch, Kick, and YouTube, read out chat using text to speech, show browser tabs of your activity feed, stream deck, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get it all up and running. Go download and install IRA Link from Google Play or the App Store. Open the app, then log in with your Twitch account. I've already done this, so let's have a look around my one. The interface is split into two views. The top half is for your Twitch and browser tabs, and the bottom half is for your chat. By the way, if your chat disconnects, to reconnect, just double tap in the chat half to confirm. Along the top is the Twitch tab, which you use to see the status, see the number of viewers, and stream title, which you can change from here. Further down, you've got shortcuts to change the chat mode to follow only, sub only, emote only, and slow mode. The channel QR code is handy if you need to exchange details and show stream is pretty self-explanatory. Let's merge chats from Kick and YouTube by jumping into the settings in the bottom right. Chats joined, then add. From the drop down list, select Kick, type your channel name, then add. For YouTube, do the same, but follow the example of youtube.com forward slash add symbol, your username forward slash and streams, like in this example. You see all the messages? That's from YouTube in the white font. You see chat join? To remove a chat join, swipe left on the name until red box appears and keep going until it's gone. To enable TTS, go back to settings, text to speech, then enable text to speech. From here, you can also change the language, volume, speech rate, and pitch. For prefixes ignored, you can add an exclamation mark so any chat commands you type in chat aren't read aloud by the TTS. For ignored users, you can add your bot's name or, you know, this guy. Onto browser tabs, go back to settings, manage browser tabs, the new browser tab. This is where you can give it a name and URL. One of my go-to browser tabs is the quick actions pop-out menu which you'll find on your Twitch dashboard. And notice my one has a quick action for raiding another channel. As a browser tab, this makes it possible to raid someone with the tab of a button rather than trying to correctly type the raid command and the username in chat. Back to the task at hand, click on this burger menu with the three dots, then pop out quick actions. Copy the URL, then go back to IRL link. Name the browser tab, quick actions, and for the URL, paste the link from your dashboard. Then tap the purple add button. Repeat to add a browser tab for your activity feed. The stream deck from the last video so you're able to start and stop streaming in OBS, change scenes etc and any other tabs you'll need. There's lots more to this app so have a look around and let me know how you're using it differently. In the next video I'm going to share with you how I'm able to read YouTube chat on my streaming phone screen and hear YouTube chat using a TTS app like this one. So make sure you like and subscribe because... Yeah I really like that, oh Jesus. <laughs> I really like that about mobile.